Hey guys, Jake here, continuing our tutorials with Xcode 4. And what we're going to be going through today is actually adding a tab bar. So in the previous tutorial, we actually changed the images of the tab bar at the bottom. And if you're wondering how to do that, you know, check out the last one. Pretty good stuff. Anyways, now we're going to look at how do we actually add tabs. And you're wondering, ah, what good does that do? Well, maybe we're going to give some stuff free away to you guys. December next month check out the site we're gonna be giving away a couple of cool items for you guys um, I think well cool I don't know about that but we may be doing some Amazon gift cards for you guys so you can choose what you want from there anyways check out mybringback.com for some free stuff besides that let's go back to the tutorial how do we add that tab you know it just doesn't appear there how do we add it so Let's uh, let's jump out of the simulator and dive into Xcode, and let's throw in our tab. So what we've got here, I've got a call. It looks like my mom's calling me. Um, so what we've got here um, is we're in the main window XIB. Basically, we've generated a tab bar. Comes standard with a first view and a second view, as you can see on the left hand side here. And so we've got our first view XIB and our second view XIB. And now we're going to be working on adding a tab here, which is going to be the free stuff. So what we're going to do, go to the main XIB, go down to where you see the tab view controller. Go ahead and click there. Um, that's where we'll be uh, focusing our time here. And then once you get to this area here, you're going to want to make sure you have your... Uh, your uh, objects down here available to you so click the view up at the top right and you'll see the objects appear now as you scroll down through the objects you're going man there's so many options here I don't know what to do keep going down and you'll see a couple of different options that uh, will, will pop off the page one we've got view controller which we could simply pull this over to the right and drop it in and as you see well bam we've got a view controller ready to go which is going to be our third tab another way um, there's also a few other things you can do you can throw in a tab view controller you can just drop it on the actual thing there um, and then you can even continue it down a little bit further um, to see a tab bar item and you can drop that on there as well so there's a few different variations of what you can do how you can add it it's up to you guys what we're just going to do is uh, delete the last two that we inserted and we're just going to go with the regular uh, view controller item at the bottom. Now to dress it up a little bit, like you saw in the previous tutorial, you can click, man, it's taking forever. Okay, you can click there and then uh, go to your attributes up top, change the title to free stuff. And then in our case, we already have an image in our supporting files over here called my arrow, which we're going to use again. We're going to drop the Maya arrow in there to just dress it up a little bit for user interface. And we're going to, we're going to uh, drop out of here. So we're done with actually designing how we want it to look. Now what we have to do is uh, if you click on the second one, you can see, you know, it's already, it's already generating from, click here, it's generating from our class, the second view controller. Now if you click on the last one that we just created, it doesn't have any class associated to it. So that's what we have to do now is we have to generate a class, we have to generate what they call as the XIB, which is going to be what's going to show up in this uh, third tab. So if we go over to the right and within our classes over to the right or our files over to the right, we're going to right click and we're going to go new file. And so Look, uh, look down the menu, find the Cocoa Touch options, which this is going to be the focusing on the iOS. Mac OS is a little bit different. Uh, go down, touch Cocoa. Um, but as we're focusing on the Cocoa Touch, you'll see a UI View Controller subclass. And so this is going to give us our .h file, our header file, our .m file, our implementation, and also an optional XIB interface file. So that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to click next, and as you can see, we've got uh, we're targeted for iPads. That's what we want because we're designing the iPad. Below it, we've got with XIB for interface, and that's going to include the XIB interface for us. 
and so now we're just going to uh, give our class a name so we're gonna keep it consistent with uh, third view controller kinda like they've done with first view controller second view controller and click next so it's gonna ask us where we want to save it and we're gonna save it within our project files here and we're gonna create those so as you can see they popped up over to the left what I'm gonna do is organize these a little bit better we're gonna drag the third view controller down with the first second and third there and then we're also gonna take the third view dot h and dot m files the header and implementation and drop it below the site and just a little bit of a uh, I don't know I'm a, I'm a freak about uh, keeping that stuff organized because the more you get the more complicated it gets anyways um so let's wrap this up now that we have it generated now we have to go back into the main window.xib and don't think there's too much more because uh, there's not so now we're, we've got the third view controller highlighted go ahead and click it and now we're gonna associate it with a class so we're gonna associate with the third view controller that we just created and now we should be good to go and uh, as you saw, I threw a quick label in there just so you knew that it was, uh, I don't know why I just did that. Take that away. <laughs> um, go to your third view controller here, and we're going to generate a label so you know the difference between um, and all. So you can type in whatever, mybringback.com slash free stuff, um, or you'll see it on our YouTube channel. And then I'm going to center that on the page. So that's how we're going to know if it actually worked and uh, our third tab is associated and generated so let's go ahead and run our application alright so we've got it loaded here go ahead and test out your second tab and your third tab which you should see the label that you generated in your third view and so it appears like it works now don't let uh, don't let this you know confuse you you can add as many tabs as you want you just don't have to have one just repeat the same process over and over by creating a class and the XIB and uh, and then going back and hooking up your class to your view there so you can get that associated so hopefully that helps you guys um, check out the previous tutorial if you want to look at the images and how we included the images and uh, look forward to the future tutorials as well so subscribe let us know if you have any troubles and uh, we'll help you out with those Alright, well peace out guys.